the art of strategy, also called pro strats by Shut In Gamer Needs. <laughs> Don't know why that's funny. It's funny to me. But it's practically a revamped version of Order of War from last year's Sandbox. So it's like a real time strategy RTS mode with one player playing a bunch of bots and bunkers against seven players with real tanks or their own tanks. But it was kind of fun ish. So you get to choose watchtowers, pillboxes, or frontline artillery guns to place it on the map and defend your bots against real players with brains. Quote unquote. <laughs> Asterisk, quote unquote. <laughs> so it was all right, but the main downside to this game mode was I thought you could place the bunkers or the artillery guns anywhere you wanted. So I would practically place all of them near my base <laughs> and just stalemate, or I win by playing all the bots myself, like driving one bot versus not. <laughs> so you cannot do that. It's like two or three preset. Locations where you could place the bunkers or artillery guns, so you cannot all <laughs> gather around the enemy base and just put a bunch of artillery guns. That would be just broken. So whatever. Now it's a revamped version for the art of strats. Um, it's still the same one versus seven format, or you play as one versus one with all bots and bunkers. So kind of variety, I guess, but. I haven't played it on the common test. I do not know if you can just place it anywhere you want, which I doubt it. So it's still probably a preset location where you get to place the bunkers or artillery guns. But now you get to play with AT guns, the Flammenwaffer. <laughs> it's a bunker with a flamethrower or two flamethrowers. Nice. Uh, rocket launchers and the original uh, pillboxes, now called machine gun turrets. The artillery guns from like frontline and watchtowers. So, yeah. But since I do a lot of stats of vehicles on the channel, I like to take a look at stuff. I thought it would be fun to just take a look at the stats of these guns or pillboxes or rocket launchers for the funsies. So, let's take a look. But you get to choose uh, one flamethrower. Or one machine gun turret. Wow, that sucks. You only get to choose one, two AT guns, one rocket launchers, or three watchtowers. Well, that's not enough. <laughs> only one? Do I get to choose more? So, that's kind of blows. Oh, it's a strategist one versus one. If it's strategist one versus seven, you get to choose more. So, if it's like one player versus one, you cannot rely on all the bunkers and stuff. So if it's one versus seven with a bunch of real players, you get to choose more Waffen Flammen. <laughs> Waffer Flammen? <laughs> Flammen Waffers. As well as artillery guns and machine gun turrets. So kind of balance out. You cannot rely on these stuff if you're all <laughs> camping in the base <laughs> and stuff. So, all right, let's take a look at the actual Flammen Waffers and AT guns and other stuff. So not the IS-4. So actually they put it into the game, so we can take a look, but here is the AT gun. <laughs> it's a big ass cannon too, holy crap. What caliber is this? Uh, it doesn't say. Historical reference, AT gun. Yeah, I know, it's an AT gun. <laughs> Let's take a look at the caliber and what shell it fires. So go to configure. It's a 122. But has a German esh designation? Huh. Alright. Shell velocity is 1,500 meters per second. It's fast for AP round. That is real fast. Uh, 270 millimeter pen, 300 alpha. There's no gold shell because it's controlled by bots. So, whatever. Alright. 5 second reload time. That is pretty quick. <laughs> PPM 3,600. Accuracy great, 0 0.15. It's very accurate. 1.5 seconds of aim time, 10 degrees of gun depression, 45 elevation, 29 degrees to each side. So it's like a tank destroyer with a fixed mounted gun. All right, but gun moves at 15 degrees per second, kind of slow. 
Yeah. Still, 270 millimeter pen with that fast of a shell velocity. And it's a 122. Kind of punch a little bit hard. But it has <laughs> no survivability. <laughs> it has 100 health. <laughs> 10 millimeter of armor all the way around. Oh my god, it's just a uh, crew of two commander and a driver, a driver. So the commander is also the gunner as well as the driver. But how the hell do you drive this thing? <laughs> I don't know. Let's take a look at the armor. It has none. <laughs> it's a 10 millimeter armor all the way around, has only 100, 100 health. Oh my god, if you get spotted with this thing. You, you get dead. <laughs> I mean, it's not a real tank, but since I take a look at tanks, it's it's actually kind of fun to take a look, take a look at pillboxes and not tanks. The stats are... Eh, you know, I mean, the gun, it's always about the gun for AT guns. <laughs> Alright, mobility. It has no mobility. It weighs about 0 0.81 tons. That is, uh... Still kind of hefty in terms of weight. 0 0.81 is like 1,600 pounds or something. That is still pretty heavy. I mean, it's like uh, four fifths of a 2,000 pounds. So that's like 1,600 pounds. That is still yeah, one horsepower. <laughs> the dude who pulls this thing has one horsepower. <laughs> That's a that's a strong ass dude. <laughs> horsepower per ton ratio is 1.24. It doesn't move. It's uh, 0.1 kilometers per hour top speed, so it doesn't move. <laughs> and 0.1 degrees per second traverse for the. It doesn't traverse. <laughs> Camouflage rating, it's insane. So 42.75. That's like STRV levels of camo with the camouflage net. That is pretty good. View range. 270, so garbage view range. You have the radio range is astounding, <laughs> 2000. But yeah, that camo is like a fully camouflaged uh, STRV. Actually, this this has a skin too, and and, and the crew. All right, let's remove the skin. Uh, 57. All right, let's remove the crew. And remove the camouflage. Oh, it's like a camouflage. Okay. <laughs> right, don't destroy it, just demount. But yeah, it's like a STRV in terms of camouflage rating. A little, yeah, a little bit better than STRV. So STRV needs a camouflage net to get as good, but <laughs> okay. Well, that's the AT gun, so it has no health, but 270 millimeters pen with 1,500 meters per second shell velocity. For AP round, it will go through most of the medium tanks and light tank destroyers or light tanks, but accuracy is, yeah, pretty accurate and it's fast to aim. So the only downside is it doesn't have health. All right, let's move on to the Flamin Waffer. Okay. <laughs> Flamethrower, historical reference. Yes, of course. It's like a nipple. All right, that's two flaming waffers, I guess. All right, modules, uh, flamethrower. It's an auto loader, weighs one kilogram. Okay, uh, I haven't seen the weight of the AT gun, but whatever. It's not important. <laughs> so crew of two, commander and a driver. Yep. Uh, let's take a look at the gun first. So, it's an auto loader. Technically, it's like a machine gun, but they treat it as a flamethrower. So it has a flame effect, but it's like getting pelleted by a bunch of BBs. High penetration BBs too. <laughs> 1,000 meter, a uh, millimeter penetration. <laughs> oh God. That is one meter of pen. Insane. <laughs> All right, 50 alpha. It's a mini pellet gun in a sense. So seven seconds to reload the entire clip. But there's only one shell, and there's 30 of them. <laughs> so, inter shell reload, there's none. So, it's like a flame constant auto loader, in a sense. 20 degrees of gun depression, 30 elevation, 
one second aim time, 0.1 accuracy. It's very accurate. The main downside is the range of this thing. I think the range is like 300 meters or something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like 100 meters. 300 meters flame jet? That is insane. <laughs> Wait, let me take a look at tanks. Uh, GG. I also have it on the actual stats. Is there a shell range? 100 meters. So, yeah, it's not like 300 meters of flame jet across the map. <laughs> that would be insane. So, it's only effective at corners where it's like closely packed into under 100 meters. Duh, but 1000 millimeters of pen. <laughs> Great. Let's see the AT gun. Yeah, AT gun has the normal 720 max range with the shell. So. Alright, but it's a fully traversable thing, I think. For the AT or for the flaming Waffer. Yep, it's a fully traversable bunker-esque of a deployment. So it fires AP round, but it's like pellets, like I said. It's not exactly flames, because flames doesn't exist in World of Tanks. It's not a real ammunition type. <laughs> Alright, but what kind of flame does this thing throw? I wonder. It throws an AP round, 10 millimeter caliber AP round, but it has 1,000 millimeter of pen. So, 75 meters per second shell velocity. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, pellets, very strong pellets in terms of flame, but it has a lot of ammo too. <laughs> Ten, actually, 10,000 rounds. How much rounds do we get with AT gun? 1,000. Yeah, it will, it will never run out of that much ammo. <laughs> it would never. You have to kill it. But this thing actually has health. So, yeah, killing this thing is more difficult than killing a AT gun. So it has 2,000 health, 150 millimeters of armor all the way around. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a UFO. It's into the ground too. Oh wow. 1,000 millimeter effective. 500 for the top effective it's 250 but still it's sloped so you're not pinning this you can pin the the flamethrower parts it's only 150 in the middle so some parts are rounded but still don't shoot the top it's 190 rounded so shoot the middle of the flame jet is it also in the back yeah it's 152 so shoot the middle parts you'll pin but don't shoot the base, don't shoot the top. 2,000 health, uh, it takes a while. So it takes like two or three tanks working together to shoot into here to destroy it. But has one horsepower. <laughs> the guy in there is very strong. Or two guys in there. It's actually two guys. So one person have half a horsepower. All right. But top speed, it has no top speed. <laughs> it has no hull traverse. It just turns around. It weighs 1,000 tons. <laughs> oh, no, 1,000. 100 tons. Wow. Don't ram it. <laughs> it weighs 100 tons. Oh, man. Concealment. Uh, Wow. Like a base STRV, too, without the camouflage net. It's pretty stealthy. View range. Yeah. 250 is meh. So place it at some corner or have a watchtower covering it. Okay. <laughs> It's just pellet gun, but it's a very strong pellet that doesn't throw far. So that's what they call flamethrower, flammenwaffer. All right, moving on to the frontline gun. Holy crap. <laughs> it has a mini turret in the back. Gun turret for historical reference. Is it a double shot? It is actually a double shot. 17 seconds for one gun to reload. So total is like 34. Time between shot to switching to loaded gun is 18, so it will fully wait to switch before reloading to the other gun, so it will not do the uh, the wait or not. Is there a prep time for 0.5 for shell preparation time and 2 seconds block time? So it's really quick to fire the double shot and doesn't have to wait long after shooting the double shot, only 2 seconds. Accuracy is garbage. Aim time is quick. It deals 1,000 alpha. 66 millimeters pen. It's an AP round. 
So, or it's not an AP round; it's a high exposure round. Yeah, that's a high exposure round. <laughs> wow, it's so big it can't even fit onto my freaking screen. Screen, screen. <laughs> Let's take a look at the gun. So, high explosive round, 203 millimeters caliber. Shell velocity is slow, 400 meters per second. Burst rate, uh, damage radius is 6 meters, um, 1000 alpha. Uh, it's two of them. So, yeah. 5 degrees gun depression, 45 elevation. Uh, DPM is not crazy, but it's a full range, unlike the Flammen Waffer. So, all right. Let's see how many rounds we have for the gun turret. 1,000. It will never run out. Ballistic range. 320. Uh, 3,200. That is... That is way higher. <laughs> yeah, that's... Why is it 3,200? That's the max range, right? For the... Okay. Show gravity. That's new. Whoa, <laughs> too many variables now. Okay, there's so much. Uh, moving the turret, or moving the, the, yeah, has garbage dispersion factors like the Grill 15, so it's not accurate shooting while traversing the entire thing. And it's, an, it's not accurate. So if you do get hit, it hits pretty hard, but... Well, depending on the high explosive nerf, I wonder how hard this gun will hit. Yeah, the high explosive shell nerf happened before, or happened after the Order of War. So does that affect this shell? I mean, wait. It's counted as artillery, it's not counted as tank destroyer. So it has the artillery aspect to the shell. It's not nerfed in the sense of actual high explosive i think compared to like any other normal tank like the fe4005 it's not a tank destroyer it's artillery so is the high explosive shell counted as normal just artillery high explosive where it behaves like normal high explosive not like a squ squash head or something i don't know <laughs> well it's uh just don't get hit but dispersion factors is garbage if you're traversing the large ass turret but gun traverse speed is 4 degrees per second. It's slow. <laughs> Super slow. And DPM is not that crazy compared to other stuff. But yeah, it's high explosive round. It should deal damage. 3,000 health. 330 millimeters of armor all the way around. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> God. Oh, no. There's so much red. It's, oh god, it's one a 600mm base slope upwards into 800mm effective. Uh, the turret ring is 1,000. <laughs> oh, I mean, technically, technically, the flamethrower could penetrate this thing. <laughs> oh god, 330 for the turret front. Oh man, it's about 350. There is a weak spot. That is the viewport, I think. I think. Small ass viewport. It's only 180 or 190. The mini turret on top is also 190 ish effective. Uh, this is not a viewport. Or is it? It is. So, shoot here into the viewports for the guns. Side armor is 140. So, it's a lot better than the front. A lot better than the front. But the base is still 600. Don't even think about it. God, there's so much chunkiness. Or 40 for the sides. Um, this thing doesn't count. Whatever the hell whatever the hell that thing is. What is it? Like a ventilation thing? Huh. I mean, normally if you see this on the back of the turret, you would think like a stowage bin or something, but extra room for the spotter? In the cupola? Perhaps. Okay. Back of the turret is only 60. Don't shoot the base. The base is still 1,000. <laughs> Has only a crew of two. So they don't they don't model all the gunners or loaders needed. 
So you definitely need like eight people or something in there to load the shells and stuff. It's a uh, did they say two hundred and three millimeters? I think. Huh. All right. So yeah, insane armor. What about the top? I don't think you can play as artillery in this game mode. So the top is sixty millimeters. One hundred for the base. Yeah, I don't think you can play as artillery in this mode to shoot artillery shells into this thing. Has no mobility, one horsepower. Yeah, concealment, no concealment. So it's it's a big ass gun. It doesn't need to be concealed. Uh, gun traverse is slow, four degrees. Like I said, there's hull traverse, but I don't think it moves. And view range is 350. It weighs about 136 tons. How does this thing weigh only 36 more tons than the flamethrower? What? <laughs> That doesn't make sense. All right, fine, whatever. <laughs> it's random stats. Uh, it is a 203, I think. Uh, 203. Now, unfortunately, they did not add the machine gun turret into the lineup, so I cannot find it. It's a Polish tier 10 tank destroyer. So Polish, for some reason, it's Polish. I don't know, don't ask me. <laughs> But there's no machine gun turret, so we can only look at it from tanks.gg Uh, machine gun turret, oh crap, they buffed it too They buff. Uh, they buffed the uh, view range A uh, fire range, they buffed the view range Uh, dispersion And the show velocity So, most of the stats got buffed It's still that much DPM 160mm pen, 40 rounds, or 40 alpha Has 30 rounds Clip damage is pretty high uh, Intro shell reload time is quick Dispersion is not great Aim time is okay uh, Turret traverse Dispersion is 0 0.2 which is bleh, Like a heavy tank but faster shell velocity Carries 10,000 rounds so it never runs out um, They increase the max range so It can shoot at 350 meters Or closer But it's an AP round and 700 meters per second shell velocity for the machine gun, practically. But this is a very strong machine gun. <laughs> I mean, normally when you think about the 50 caliber, it is modeled at tier 2 or tier 1. And that thing has only like 20 millimeters of pin. So this is a big gun. <laughs> but it's a... What's a caliber size? 55 millimeter caliber. That's a big ass machine gun. <laughs> No speed whatsoever, yada yada. Uh, 20 gun depression, 20 elevation, fully traversable. Same goes with the uh, the gun turret, fully traversable. All right, have to make a note. But gun traverse speed is 70 degrees per second. <laughs> it's quick. Actually, that's moving up and down. 40 degrees for the turret traverse. Okay, it's more plausible. <laughs> 220 millimeter all the way around for the hull and. 220 for the front of the turret and 100 for the sides 2000 health and increased view range to 300 but yeah don't shoot the base <laughs> shoot the uh, well shoot the side of the turret but still it's 250 and it's 2000 health yeah shoot the sides but it turns pretty quickly too so this thing is devastating to something like EBRs or something or bad jets yeah take that EBR you piece of crap <laughs> All right, I mean, moving on. I mean, unfortunate that they don't have it in the game files for me to preview for some reason. I don't know. Rocket launcher. <laughs> rocket launcher. What? Multiple rocket launcher. I think that's meaning. Uh, it's an autoloader. Fires high explosive, presumably. Crew of two, like always. So, accuracy 0 0.7. Garbage. Aim time is 5 seconds. <laughs> No gun depression, 45 elevation, 27 degrees per sides, gun traverse is 10 degrees per uh, per second, slow, uh, 40 si uh, 45 seconds for the reload of the clip, um, 0 0.67 for the shell, oh, between each shot for the rocket, and there are 6 rockets, alright, let's take a look at the shell velocity and the uh, shell stats, 
It's a high explosive round, 150 millimeter caliber, 49 millimeters of pin, 200 meters per second. It's slow, <laughs> but it has 10 meters of burst radius. Uh, it's still kind of slow, and the accuracy is horrendous. What about the dispersion factor for this thing? Uh, heavy tank for the turret traverse, so whatever. But it's still six rounds of the rocket. It takes about yeah forty-five seconds to reload the entire rocket thing, or the pods. But it's not like sixteen rocket pods right here. It's only six. So this is a false JPEG, but it has ten thousand rounds. Ballistic range is one thousand. Show velocity, show gravity. So it's like a heavy, uh, high explosive round, not a rocket rocket, but it's slow. So simulating a rocket, I guess. <laughs> not really. <laughs> it's a very slow shell. That's practically it. It doesn't deviate because of wind or stuff. So world of tanks is not that advanced. <laughs> Alright, survivability, 100 health, 10 millimeters of armor all the way around. It's like the AT gun, in a sense. Yeah, he has no armor. <laughs> okay. Mobility, there, there's no mobility. It's one horsepower, yada yada. It weighs about 22, oh, 0 0.22 tons. So, it's like 500 pounds? Uh, times 5. No, 400 pounds. About more, a little bit more than 400 pounds. Oh, that's nothing. That's like one American. <laughs> one fat ass American. Yep, exactly. Or two full grown men, but Jesus Christ. It's, it doesn't weigh much. Now I think about it. I mean, can, some people can bench press this, which is, I mean, surprising. But then again, they're super buff. All right. <laughs> Concealment, even better than the. The STRV. Wait, how much concealment did the AT gun have? Like about the same, right? So still pretty good. It's hard to spot this thing, but has no view range. So okay. <laughs> and lastly, we have the watchtower. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, there it is. It has a binoculars on top, and uh, let me smooth out the camera. All right. Surprisingly, the can the binoculars point to the left side of the ladder when I thought it should be pointing towards the front. All right, fine, whatever. Uh, it has camouflage net coating and stuff, so it watches stuff. It's a watchtower. <laughs> All along the watchtower, it actually has a crew of four. It has a commander, gunner, driver, and a radio operator. Whereas, it's not like commander and driver, huh? What? That doesn't make sense. It has a gun too. What? It doesn't shoot. It has a 1000 alpha gun. What? 32 millimeters of pin. But it takes like 6 minutes to reload. <laughs> uh, what the hell is this gun? It weighs 1 kilogram. Is that like the binoculars? Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't shoot. It's 6 uh, 6 minutes of reload time. What? Huh, it's high explosive, 203 millimeters. About 32 millimeter pin, 900 meters per second shell velocity, 6 meters of burst radius. But it doesn't fire this thing for some reason, I guess. Okay, they added a, a stock or placeholder gun for this thing? Okay, I mean, it's useless, but 100 hit points, no armor, 10 millimeters of armor all the way around. <laughs> yeah, it's no armor. It's made of wood. Yeah, it's made of wood. Even if you shoot between, it's counting as hitting the stuff. So, yeah, it's <laughs> no armor. <laughs> Why are we talking about this? No mobility, yada yada. It weighs about the same weight as... No, it doesn't weigh the same as the rocket launchers. I mean, I would expect the rocket launcher thingy to be like 400 pounds. This thing is not 400 pounds. This is this is practically like 2 tons or so of weight. This is not... Or at least like 2,000 pounds. No, it's like 4,000 or 5,000 pounds for a bunch of wood and metal and stuff. No, it's not that weight. That's a lie. <laughs> it can carry up to 500 tons 
for some reason. I don't know. Random stuff. It has even better camo than the the AT guns or the rocket launchers. So it's pretty stealthy. It has 450 meters of view range. So pretty good. Oh, there you go, folks. 30 minutes wasted. Talk, <laughs> talking about stupid stats that doesn't matter. <laughs> My favorite, my favorite is still the gun turret. Yeah, or the flamen waffer. But yeah, you guy so big. <laughs> it's like the frontline gun. The frontline gun doesn't have the the weak uh, viewports or is that a viewport or stuff? That is a big ass telescope. <laughs> yeah, that is a big ass telescope. Or is that like a machine gun? That's a telescope. But that is such a big area too. It's like a coastal entrenched uh, battery gun thing <laughs> to shoot at ships, practically. But there's a mini turret on top, similar to the Yak Panzer E100. So, okay. But, oh, there you go, folks. Um, 30 minutes. You wasted. I wasted. Everybody wasted. Looking at stupid stats. That doesn't mean much, but hey, it's better than looking at tanks for all the time. <laughs> it's a giant ass gun. It doesn't move. The Flammenwaffer throws pellets rather than flame because flame is not an asset in World of Tanks. It's auto-loading uh, BB guns in a sense, but it has a flame effect, so it kind of looks like flames, but okay. It has only 100 meters uh, range with the thing, so Still, if you can shoot a flame jet into like 100 meters, that is still insane. Like 100 meters is not, it's not a small distance. <laughs> if you can produce that much flame across 100 meters, I mean, God, Vietnam would be a cakewalk. <laughs> Japan, well, then again, Japan would be a lot simpler too. <laughs> If you can shoot 100 meters with a flame jet, that would be nuts. I mean, the most you can think of is like 20 meters or something, or like possibly 10 meters. Actually, 10 meters sounds more plausible. Like 5 meters or something. Not 100 meters. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Oh, there you go, folks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, you can keep me in the background. It's mostly a whatever vid, so it's for fun. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.